Southeast Asian countries vowed on Tuesday to further intensify efforts and strategies to address the rising radicalization and violent extremism in the region. We committed to further intensify our efforts and strategies to counter these threats through the conduct of regular regional dialogues and consultations, exchange of intelligence information and resources, establishing joint operations, and engaging regional partners in capacity building programs. Koi spoke at a press conference at the start of the second special ASEAN ministerial meeting on the rise of radicalization and violent extremism in Manila. Koi cited the Marawi crisis and the foiling of an Abu Sayyaf attack during the closing ceremony of the SEA Games in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, late last month, as proof that there is indeed an existence of radicalization and violent extremism in the ASEAN community. The Philippines is also hosting a parallel 11th ASEAN ministerial meeting on transnational crime. In the same briefing, Kui said several issues were discussed during the preparatory meetings on Monday, including the ASEAN Trust Fund to support humanitarian and relief effort in the event of irregular movement of persons in Southeast Asia. At present, the Trust Fund has accumulated $900,000, $450,000 of which is already deposited in the bank, while the rest is composed of pledges from the different uh, $100,000 to the Trust Fund. The Trust Fund was launched in July 2015, wherein all the 10 ASEAN member countries promised to contribute an initial $100,000 each with Singapore promising $200,000. Kui said, during the preparatory senior officials meeting on transnational crime, two working groups were approved. These were the SOMTC Working Group on Armed Smuggling, as proposed by Cambodia, and the SOMTC WG on Illicit Trafficking of Wildlife and Timber, as proposed by Thailand.